One thing we're going to talk about today is hose length. Typically with a self-leveling product, if you look at the label, it asks for a two minute mixing time. Well, this mixing chamber is very short. We only have probably 20 to 30 second mixing time in the mixing chamber before it is pushed out into the hose. Now, what happens with that is, is if you were to just pump without the hose, your material would not be mixed properly. The more hose you add to the pumping apparatus, the longer mixing time you have. So basically we're going to have a 20 to 30 second mixing time in the mixing chamber, then it's going to go through a rotor stator, which is like a pigtail metal apparatus that runs through a rubber cavity. So it's called a progressive cavity. So at the beginning it's low pressure and it increases high pressure and pumps out. This particular pump pumps at 150 pound bags per hour. That's about approximately six and a half gallons a minute. So if you do the math on the hose length, uh, this particular 100 foot of hose that we have laid out here will give you an additional minute and a half of mixing time at full rate on this. Typically, if you're going to want to achieve the two minute mixing time, we want to see at least 200 feet of hose. This particular pump will pump up to 300 feet of hose, so the, the back pressure back to the pump isn't significant enough to slow down the production. You can do the math based on your material as how much mixing time you need. We all know that what we're looking for is a good product coming out of the end of the hose. Regardless of what happens back at the pump, this is where you want your material to be perfect as it goes on the floor. That said, if we find that even through 100 foot of hose or 200 foot of hose, we're not getting the proper mixing. And when I'm talking about mixing, it's not just the agitation, it's also the induction time. Manufacturers want to see that two to three minutes of induction time. What does that mean? That means that the material, the aggregate, the cement, the polymers need to be in contact with water. That's your induction time. So the longer your hose is, the more induction time you have and the more flowable, uh, pristine product you'll have going out on the floor.